I want you to think about the mindset that can so often drive us forward or hold us back from chasing the future. Remember back in August when we had that global economic meltdown? Remember getting up that Monday morning a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, uh, and the global markets were melting down. Tokyo plunged and we woke up that Monday morning and the global markets are plunging and we were going, oh my God, we're going to have a recession. It's awful. You know, it's finally here. Have you ever thought that you've been waiting 10 or 15 years for a recession that has yet to have arrived. You know, it's gotten so extreme that, uh, you know, the New York Times last year had an article going like, dude, where is my recession? Everybody's been talking about this recession coming for the, you know, the last 10 years, and it is still not here. And all this is happening in the context in which more than half of this country believes that the U.S. is in a recession during a period of economic time when we are seeing absolute growth which has never lasted for such a sustainable long period of time. What happens with this mindset? Well, we tend to focus on the fact that we might have a downturn. If you think about what is going on, it's almost like the U.S. consumer has entered into a state of perpetual economic gloom, despite all the signs to the contrary. And are you following them into the abyss? Are you following them into the path of uncertainty? Well, what's the point of all this? The point of all this is your mindset for innovation, your mindset for the future. The head of innovation at General Electric did a study. He looked at what happened with major companies when we had a period of economic uncertainty, economic downturns. He looked at the oil shock of the 70s, the downturn of the 80s, the downturn of the 90s, what happened during the dot-com bust. And what he discovered is that 60% of organizations, they just sort of muddled through. They didn't do anything big and bold. They you know, focused on cutting costs and managing costs and you know, making their way through. 30% didn't make it. They were bought out, they went bankrupt, they disappeared but 10% became breakthrough performers. 10% became the organizations that won into the future. And I want you to ask yourself a question right now. If you are convinced that things are really bad, are you doing the things that are not allowing you to chase a faster future because your mindset is holding you back? This study showed that's the exactly wrong thing to do. Following that, I took a look at what happened with the 2008 recession and what organizations were doing with innovation and focusing on trends and technology and opportunity, those who, who took a mindset of, well, there's, a, there's an economic downturn. We're just not going to take part. We're not going to take part. Everybody else can have the recession. We're not going to take part. We're going to focus on growth. We're going to focus on investment. We're going to focus on innovation. We're going to focus on adjusting technology. We're going to focus on realigning our manufacturing assembly line process. We're going to reinvent our product. Those organizations saw 17% growth through the period of economic uncertainty, compared to everybody else who saw no growth. After the recession of 2008 was over, those organizations continued to see 13% compound annual growth rate. Everybody else stalled at 1%. Following up on this, Grant Thornton did a survey, and they talked to a whole bunch of executives, and 50% indicated, yeah, we don't plan to take part in the recession. We're going to focus on growth. We're going to focus on opportunity. We're going to innovate. We're going to invest. We're going to do the things that we need to do to make sure we can thrive in the future because we believe the future is full of opportunity. And what were the differentiators that Grant Thornton discovered? Well, the losers, they focused on cost cutting and they scaled back in R&D and they slowed down their digitization efforts. The winners did everything they should do to align to the reality of the opportunity of the future. And we know we need to ignore the noise because the only way to get forward into the future is to ignore the things that might hold you back.